What's up everybody? Big Ox Triple Six here, the Golf Gamer. So check it out. I told you guys a few days ago that I was buying the Samsung QLED um, 6FN, the 55 inch and stuff, the second time, okay? Now, the reason why um, this time I bought again once cheaper, I got it for $850. The other one I paid for was like like maybe a thousand bucks so i got cheaper cheaper like that and also um i had this one this sony x 800d which is the 43 inch which is free, pretty much small compared you know it's 55 inch stuff and now it's my freaking neighbors being noisy like usual but um yeah i'm gonna show you the reason why i took it back the first time i just have to get my get my controller PlayStation 4. Okay. You see Review Text USA's head, right? You see that blurriness right here? This is the issue I had with it the first time. Okay. And I was just like, why does it look like that? Why? And I talked to one of my coworkers about that. He's like, yeah, I have that same thing on my on my TV, and even a customer had the same TV, and he was looking at OLED, and I just, I explained to him the, the stuff that I saw on this TV. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, it's like that's that's from the Samsung 6FN. It's like don't don't buy that garbage. But this one is refurbished. That's why I got a cheaper price. Don't worry, I have a, I have a, um, a four year warranty with it. But to be honest. It looked freaking brand freaking new. I mean, it, it had everything like wrapped up to it, all the plastic right here connected. I mean, together like like it's a brand new freaking TV. But it said it's refurbished, so I got it got her a cheap a cheaper price. But yes, that blurriness right here was huge huge annoying. So I pretty much took it back the first one, okay, and. I pretty much hooked up this one, which is a Sony X800D. Okay, put it up, put it, put it right here. Same freaking thing. So to me, it has to be the upscale. This, and also one more thing, I have an issue with. You see this right here? This live TV cable. Check it out. You go down, remove it. Okay. You see it removed successfully. All right. Go to the PS3 real quick. And there's some some blurriness in a few sections, which I'm, I'm going to show you real quick after the video pops up. But um, yes, the reason why I got this TV, like I said, cheaper. You see right there, that blurriness right there, that ickiness. Right here. All around right here. It's kind of kind of annoying. But supposedly the Samsung um, QFN is supposed to be better, like the, like the top notch. This this right here is still a good, great TV. An awesome, awesome TV. It, it really is. There's, there's just those two things right here. Those two things I have with it. Other than that, it, it, it has a great, great picture to it. It's just that blurriness right there. And I'm going to show you real quick. If you look right here on this right side, very, very closely. Let me, let me focus a little bit. Like right here, that ickiness right there. I know you can see it on the camera. Okay, that right there is so, so freaking annoying, but it has to be the upscaling. It has to be the upscaling and stuff, you know, but that's the only huge issue I have with it. But let me turn it off real quick and show you that little app. But yeah, hold on one second. But yeah, this TV right here, it's, it's still good TV. I say roughly around 7 50 to 850 that would be the perfect price for this TV I paid the first time maybe like close to a thousand bucks close to like nine I think it was like nine hundred and like seventy two dollars out for that right there that's that's way too much but 850 
with the, the four-year warranty it's freaking perfect it really is but like i said it's a it's a great tv and you're probably wondering like big ox why do you just wait for 2019 uh, models well i saw the sony and i saw the samsung tvs they didn't look so so amazing to me okay and also the samsung 2019 models from what i've seen the highest model is a 65 inch no sorry sorry yeah, all of them are 65 inches, and the highest mo highest model is like a like a 9Q. If I'm not mistaken, you you can correct me in the comment section below. Um, that thing was like I think $3,500. $3,500 for a 65 inch. This is a 55 inch. I don't need something like that. That's way too big, way too big. And also, all 65 inches, no. And the the cheapest one was like the 7Q. If I'm not mistaken, was about 1,700. Yeah, that's that's freaking ridiculous. I don't I don't need to spend that much for a freaking TV. I could spend that much on a freaking down payment on a car, you know? But that's way too much. And also, my 43 inch was freaking is small compared to this 55 inch. And let me tell you the reason why. My couch is all the way over there. That's pretty much like maybe like 12 feet. All the way here, all the way there. And 40 inch, 40, 43 inch TV is pretty freaking small from that distance. My best friend's like, oh, just move the couch. Like right here, right here. Then that leaves me a whole empty space right there. It'll just look look kind of kind of funny, you know. And my, my other apartment, it was just a one bedroom. This is a two bedroom apartment. So, you know, it's a decent, quite decent size. So I had to give me a, a bigger size. And also, another thing I'm, I'm going to show you guys. This right here, this is my first 4K TV, okay? It had blooming and clouding issues, which I never even heard of until I watched a few um, people talking about that stuff, like quantum, uh, quantum potheosis, um, other people too, like ratings.com. See, there it is right there live TV cable it, it, you can't remove it that's the only two issues I have with it. you can't you can't get rid of that I tried the updates I tried everything you can't you can't get rid of it for some reason and I don't know why I have no idea why but that's the only two issues I have with it it, it plays great in, in on video games and stuff like that um, what else am I missing this is full ray okay this is edge lit now full rays will always be better because it has has that true true colors and true true like deep blacks this one does not okay but it still has that freaking pop to it it really does and there goes that little ickiness right there on the right side but yes the blooming is right here on the edges that's what's hence called edge lit which some people do not like which i have no problem with i watch underworld and stuff like that and pretty much have no issue but you could you could tell some people casual people that don't know about tvs they, they they're not going they, and they're, they're not going to you know pretty much notice that type of stuff but people like me that like technology yeah you're going to notice that type of stuff big time but this is not a bad tv it, it's really not but i'm gonna show you another pic, uh content seems on zero so i won't get copyright claimed let me see here yes i still use my ps3 okay still still good system see dragon ball resurrection f 720p okay seven this is 720p not 1080p so check it out anytime now that was um beyond two souls but yes look at that look at that picture dude Look at that, look at that quality, man. That's Dragon Ball Z right there, and that's only 720p. But yes, it, it shows that poppiness to it. It shows that color, man. I mean, it's still a good TV, but it just has a few flaws. Most TV has a few flaws, but man, that, that picture, dude, looks beautiful. Man, it looks beautiful, you know? But yeah, that's the only two things I have with this TV. It just... I know it's the upscaling was going was going to be that that big of a thing. It's it's noticeable, it really is. 
but it's still good TV watching, you know, TV shows and um, 4K movies. Oh my gosh, watching 4K movies on here, beautiful, beautiful. But like 1080p and like, you know, some 720p stuff or playing old, old video games, yeah, you're gonna notice that type of stuff. You really are. But that right there, that's freaking beautiful, man. Beautiful. But anyways, I want to let you guys know. And also, um, my Samsung wash and dryer. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay, I'm just letting you know there's nothing wrong with it. Um, it has, like, explain to you better. That's my dryer going off right now. It has, like, a um, when, it, when it goes on, on spin cycle, it has, like, a little noise that grind a little bit but it but it's it's a normal thing it did it with my last washer dryer but this one it's it's a little bit louder louder but it's only three seconds but like i said it happened to my last samsung washer but it just kept on knocking 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 this one it does for three seconds because it's trying to adjust the close out from from the washer but that's the only issue i have with it and also buy this shit right here this this snuggle stuff this stuff smells freaking good it smells amazing man it really does but um yeah the tv refurbished it it looked brand new seriously it looked freaking brand fucking new and i'm impressed by the quality it's just the upscaling i know it's the upscaling is going to be that bad but other than that about 700 800 probably about 850 it's a good deal very really good good deal if you could get the q the samsung q uh, QLED 8FN, go for it. Or 9FN, go for it. I don't know about that much about the 2019 models, but to me, it just looks like the same models what they have from 2018 to me, honestly. It might be better, but who knows? But I don't want to pay that much for a 65-inch. Nah, don't want to. But anyways, if you have this TV, let me know. But man, that's pretty as hell. And that's only 720p. Pretty as hell, man. Seriously. Amazing. But anyways, this is Big Ox Triple Six. Y'all stay awesome, and I'm probably going to be playing some Final Fantasy 13 too, for a little while, or playing some, oh my gosh, matter of fact, I was playing a Sims 4 on this TV. I didn't know, I didn't know my character was so freaking fat. <laughs> my best friend, Richard, he saw my 43 inch, and I had it on here. He's like, man, your chick's fat. And I was like, no, she's not. No, she's not. I played on here. That bitch was freaking huge. I did not make make that care. I made it a little bit chunky, but I didn't know I made it that freaking huge. I, I mean, I like dick chicks and all, but yeah, <laughs> she was she was kind of huge, and I did not notice that. But that's about it, guys. Beautiful quality, beautiful picture. I mean, and just that upscaling, dude. <laughs> that's the only issue I had with it. Only issue I had with it, and that little app that you can't get rid of. Other than that, it's a, it's a Pretty good TV. Pretty good TV. Anyways, I'm going going on and on again. But I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Have a good one.